I think I prefer a Thanksgiving leftovers calzone over a sandwich. Cause really with a sandwich, to get that one perfect bite, you have to like really stretch your fucking mouth a lot, which let's be honest, girls, it's a lot of work <laughs> getting something that big into your mouth. So calzone's the way, especially for us ladies. <laughs> Hi, I'm Faraday, the culinary director at Munchies, and we're gonna make a calzone with your Thanksgiving leftovers. Essentially, we're taking all of our leftovers from Thanksgiving, and instead of making a sandwich or just reheating them in the microwave, we're gonna make a really simple bread dough, put it all inside of that, bake it, and we have a delicious calzone. So basically, what you're gonna need is all of your leftovers. So that can be whatever you eat at Thanksgiving, whether it's you know a vegan or vegetarian Thanksgiving or a really classical, um, traditional Thanksgiving. Um, but what we're gonna focus on is making this super simple bread dough. So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of sugar, um, two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, which is one of those little packets. And then we're gonna do three quarters cup of warm water. This is heated to about 115 degrees Fahrenheit because that helps to activate the yeast. So put that in there. So now we're gonna just kind of let, let that sit there and it'll, you know, you'll see it kind of start popping up and stuff. Okay, so this, um, our yeast has activated in here. You can see it kind of like, it's nice and foamy and it's like kind of popped up. So next we're gonna add in our flour. This is one and three quarter cups, all purpose flour, and a little bit of salt. This is about a uh, half a teaspoon of kosher salt. So just put that right in here. If you were just using your hands for this, like if you don't have a sand mixer, you're just gonna like take it and like knead it and like just work the dough um, until it's nice and smooth and like elastic. So I'm gonna put this on medium. It's nice and elastic, so you can kind of see, like it's nice and smooth, but also when you put your, stick your finger into it, it kind of springs back lightly, so that's what I mean by elastic. All right, so I'm gonna pop that into that bowl. And then we're gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and just let it uh, rest, improve, and rise in like a nice warm area for about 20 minutes. So this dough is awesome. I use this to make focaccia. I'll use it to make pizza. I'll use it to make other calzones. It's a really basic kind of everyday girl kind of dough. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll out two calzones with this guy. All right, let's roll it. Sure. I'm gonna roll this out into, I mean, whatever size you want. Um, not too thin, you don't want it like paper thin because you're gonna have to remember fold this in half later as well. Um, but you know, maybe like an eighth of an inch thick or something. Okay, I need to get a tray really quickly. Excuse me. Ah! Oh! Ah! There we go. <sighs> I'm gonna put my dough onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet because once I start filling this up with all my leftovers, it's gonna get really heavy and like thick and I don't wanna to break after I make it. So I've got my Thanksgiving leftovers. You can use whatever leftovers you have. You can use all of this stuff. You can use different things. If you have, I don't know what else you guys eat at your Thanksgiving, but throw it in here. Like it's just whatever you want to throw into your calzone. I'm using some green beans today, um, some turkey, uh, stuffing, Brussels sprouts, cranberry sauce, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, and green beans. So I'm gonna take some turkey and I'm just gonna like slice that shit up right there. You just want like nice little like chunks and stuff. Um, I'm gonna cut up these green beans. Oh, let me cut some Brussels sprouts. You can kind of layer this however you want. I like to go first with like maybe a little bit of mashed potatoes. Just plop that down. Like I said, you don't have to put, you can put as much of this as you want. I'm just gonna like paint it in there. See how I'm painting it with my spoon? Sweet potatoes. Put the stuffing. You don't want to overfill this because you don't want the, like the dough to break when you stretch it over. So I'm just gonna do this. See, look, a little bit of everything, a little of that, just like this. I need some cranberry sauce on this guy. Nice gelatinous cold gravy in there. It's gonna just like add a little bit of moisture. It's almost like a soup dumpling, you know? That's fucking good. I never even thought about that until just now. It's like a little soup dumpling. Just dot it in there. That's a good amount. That's a good amount of shit in there, I think. We're gonna seal it up. So I'm gonna go like this and just 
go over there. So what I'm gonna do with this right now though is I'm just gonna fork it, fork it closed. Just like that, like that. All right, so it's all nice and sealed. And then we're gonna cut a little bit of slits in there. That's gonna help vent it and let some of like that air, you know, like that steam get out of it. We're gonna put more of the gravy and just right on top of it, just like a, instead of reusing an egg wash, we're gonna use a gravy wash. And it's ready to go in the oven. 450 degrees, about 20 minutes, right, until it's nice and golden brown on the outside and hot, steaming in the middle. Calzone's out of the oven. It's nice golden brown, see that nice color, cooked through, and boom, there we go. Fucking calzone, Thanksgiving leftovers calzone. Let's try it out. Ready? Hey. It smells fucking great. It smells like Thanksgiving all over again, but better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. It's like, you know when you, on Thanksgiving, I try to make the perfect bite, like I put everything on one forkful. That's this. That is literally this, like in, like wrapped up. It's like your perfect bite in every bite. 